Most pet owners go to great lengths to make sure our animals don't accidentally get poisoned by something around the house. But there are several things you may not think are toxic. As part of Pet Poison Prevention Awareness Month, I talked with Dr. Lauren Ugall from Blue Pearl Pet Hospital in Grand Rapids and Martin the Beagle about how to keep our pets safe. Tell me a little bit about um, some of the poisons that we need to be aware of in our home with dogs. Absolutely. So this is something I am super passionate about. Some of the most common ones that we'll see is grapes and raisins or chocolate. That's a lot of the ones that pet parents are aware of. Now with grapes, we're still learning a little bit about what's making them so toxic. We think it has to do with the tartaric acid in grapes. But what we see most commonly is that these kids can go into acute, irreversible kidney damage or failure. And we don't know which grapes or which dogs are gonna be affected. And so it's best to treat every pet as if they got a toxic dose. Okay. Now with chocolate, we know a little bit more about that. Um, chocolate has theobromine, which is a caffeine derivative that can cause at lower levels, just GI upset. At mid range levels, we start to worry about the heart and then higher doses, we're gonna get concerned about seizure, coma and death. So when it comes to plants, the big one, you're right exactly with Easter is lilies. Now, not all lilies are toxic, but Easter lilies are absolutely one of the most toxic on that list. Um, and that's gonna affect our kitty cats. And so every part of the plant is toxic. From the water that it's sitting in to the pollen coming from it, it is all potential to cause kidney, uh, irreversible kidney failure in cats. So if there's any potential exposure, they're walking around the table where the plant is, that is something to take seriously and get your cat seen by a veterinarian. Okay. Tell us a little bit about household uh, medications, or I know marijuana's been in the news lately with pets getting poisoned from that too. Marijuana is definitely one that we in the ER see very commonly. Um, when it comes to marijuana, the good thing is, is that it is very safe just like it is in people, but the signs are something to be concerned of. So some of the things you're gonna notice in your pet, if they're just not acting their normal selves, they're staring off into space, they're not responding to you, or kind of the telltale sign is if they start dribbling urine, that is very something very, we see very commonly. Now, the best thing is to be honest with your veterinarian. We are only there to help you, and a toxin is probably the best case scenario for these guys. Another big one that's new on the market that not a lot of people know about is xylitol. Now this is an artificial sweetener, so we see it very commonly in sugar-free candies, gums, diabetic medicines or candies, vitamins, and then peanut butters. Now this can also be labeled as birch gum or birch sugar. And what this does is, although it's a sweetener, it releases a massive amount of insulin in the pet that tanks their blood sugar. So when they come to me, they're non-responsive, some are seizuring, and I can fix the blood sugar pretty quickly, but what we can't fix sometimes is if they go into liver failure. And so if your pet has any exposure to this product, please, please, please get them seen by a vet immediately. And um, if we can, we'll induce vomiting, but a lot of times it requires a couple of days in hospital so that we can protect those organs and get them on a better route. Okay. Dr. Ugal, thank you so much of for your course. thoughts. And Marty, thank you for joining <laughs> yeah. us as well. Good job.